Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews. In this video, I will show you guys what's on my iPhone, the iOS 10.2 Jailbreak Edition. So I had a lot of requests from you guys to do a video like this and of course I will go ahead and do it and show you what are some of the tweaks and themes that I usually keep on my iPhone. First of all, let's get started with the themes. I usually keep just these two themes on my iPhone. So it's Vexilum, the one that is enabled right now, which you can see right here, it looks just beautiful. And also another theme called Amuri, which is right here. So let me enable it and show you how it looks like. It's pretty beautiful. I really enjoy these two themes. These are the only ones that I keep on my device. Usually I don't keep any others, but just in case I have to review them, I install them and then just remove them because I really enjoy these two and I don't really keep a lot of themes on my device. I don't keep them enabled on my device. I like the iOS look, but sometimes when I want to use themes, I use these two. And now let's get started with the tweaks. Let's go to the control center here. And here you can see I'm using a tweak called Noctis, which will enable this dark mode to iOS 10. The control center looks amazing. And here you will have this button that allows you to turn on or off the dark mode. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. And combined with another night mode tweak, which is Eclipse 4, it looks just amazing. You can see here, Eclipse 4 will enable the dark mode to the apps of iOS. So you go to Eclipse 4, you enable it, and then you go here to enable applications, and you can choose in which apps you want to use Eclipse 4. And together, they work just amazing. They look pretty cool. And at nighttime, it's just very nice to have them enabled on your device. It will make it much easier for you to work on your device at night time. They just look cool. So on the on control center, I also have flip control center, which allows you to add more toggles and quick launches to the control center. So basically on iOS, you will have the basic toggles here. Most of them that you don't need, except for the Wi-Fi. The others are way useless. You can have way more useful toggles on your control center. And that's what Flip Control Center allows you to do. So you can add and remove the toggles. And as you can see, you can have extra toggles here. You can add as many as you want and you can rearrange them any way you like. Also, another useful tweak that I'm using is Imperial. So you can see right here at the suggested app, on this app switcher, I have Cydia, so you can pick any of your apps and set it as a suggested app right here, so you can have easy access to it from anywhere on your device. So doing these reviews, I will have to install and uninstall a lot of tweaks and themes, so I'm using Swipe for More, which is very useful for the Cydia app. All you have to do is just swipe like this on an, on an icon, on an icon here of a tweak and then you can go ahead and remove the tweak right here or you can install a tweak it's as easy as that you don't have to go through the page of the tweak to install it or to remove it which is very useful also another very useful tweak that i use is multi icon mover plus that allows you to move multiple icons at a time so you can see here you just go to the edit mode you tap on them you will see the, these check marks so you go to the page that you want to add them to click the home button and it will send all those icons to that page, which is very useful. So you can see here at the top on the status bar, instead of the carrier name or instead of the no SIM, I have here iPhone, so it's the model of the device that you're using. This tweak is called Koi SIM and what it does is that it will disable the no SIM alert. So if you don't have a SIM on your device, you know, it's very annoying. It will show you that alert, but this one will disable it. And then you can also replace the no sim here with the model of the device that you're using so in this case the iphone which is very useful and it really removes those, those annoying alerts that you get with, when you don't have a sim on your device another tweak that i'm using here on the 5s is reach all which enables the reachability view on smaller devices that don't have this feature enabled by apple and also you can see here i don't have any labels at the icons this tweak is called hide labels 10 and you can install it from a repo which you will find of course in the description of this video so these are pretty much it the tweaks and themes that i use on my device i don't really use a lot of them so i will have to go through a lot of tweaks and themes when i do these reviews so i just keep some of them that are useful and that i really need i don't keep a lot of them on my device Usually I just keep the useful ones. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it 
For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and also don't forget to follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of the video.